want to take up running but don't know where to start? We caught up with TV presenter and fitness guru Ajay. Oh do do, by email, we couldn't actually catch her, to ask a few questions on how best to get your running career up and running. What advice would you give to complete beginner who wants to take running? Take it slow, begin by walking briskly for 5 minutes before beginning to jog for a couple of minutes, get back to walking and then begin to slowly run. You do this 3 times a week you'll soon build up the strength, stamina and confidence to be running straight away. Make it fun, you're more likely to stick to it if you do this. Grab a friend to make it social or create a killer playlist if you prefer riding solo. Make sure you warm up and cool down, whether that's walking briskly, doing a series of dynamic stretches or a combination of the two, it's important to warm up and cool down to avoid injury and promote swift recovery between workouts. Find a plan, there are lots of plans out there designed to help get beginners up and running. Most well known is the NHS's couch to 5k but just find one that most appeals to you. What kit, equipment would you recommend investing in? One of the great things about running is that you don't need fancy clothing or expensive equipment to get started. All you need is a good pair of trainers that are right for you, usually with good grip on the sole and ones that are comfortable for you to wear. At what point could someone who is new to running consider a marathon? Running a marathon is appealing to runners for many reasons. It's epic, a real test for your mind and body and a challenge that truly fills you with complete elation when you cross the finish line. But it is in no way a trivial undertaking. Before taking the challenge I would advise to run a half marathon or two first. After all, 13.1 miles is still a huge challenge and teaches you the importance of a regular training regime, shows you what supplements your body reacts well to and gives you an indication of how you might feel if you were to take on a longer run. You've also got to ask yourself whether your lifestyle can support training for a marathon. Training leaves a huge dent in your diary, not just because of the all the running you have to schedule in but the post-workout recovery, the massages, ice baths, physio, nutrition plans etc. Do you really have time to devote to training so that you can finish a full marathon safely? If yes and you feel as though you can confidently commit to the challenge then go for It, what other exercise would you recommend to help improve running ability? Pilates is great for stretching and building core strength, which is vital when it comes to getting the most out of your runs. Swimming and cycling are also great as they are low impact yet still boosts your stamina, great for giving your joints a break from the high impact of running. What are your top 3 golden rules to help your training? Plenty of sleep. Plenty of water, and plenty of good food, fats and carbs are most definitely included. AJ Odudu will lead a free running tour on the 6th of June at Residence in London Bridge, sign up here.